All right, so this is gonna be my first time making, um, what is this called, spaghetti squash in the Ninja Fuji. Hey there, my name is uh, Spencer Heckathorn and you're in my kitchen, my, mine and my wife's, um, trying to get this foodie in the shot. I'm gonna make uh, spaghetti squash uh, with red sauce and, well, meat sauce basically, so. Um, hope you enjoy it and we'll get started. I'm gonna cut this in half right here and then cook half of it in the foodie. I haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. And then I'm gonna cook my meat and sauce in the foodie. Uh, so this will be kind of interesting and I'm gonna have to video in between actually doing things because uh, my wife is not here to help me hold the camera, so let's get started. Okay, so I got the spaghetti squash split, and I'm going to have to dig out the middle, and then I'll fill it with um, olive oil and figure out what settings to do on the Ninja. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so I've got it in there, and I was going to put... Um, I was going to fill it all the way with olive oil, but it seems like a lot, so I don't know. I'm going to give it a minute, see if it soaks in any better, and maybe give it a little more, but uh, it just seems a little wasteful. And then I'm going to do pressure, probably high, we'll do like 12 minutes, and that's based on a, uh, I've done a recipe before that use the pressure cooker, never the Ninja. So maybe we could do it different since we've got the capability to do uh, baking and whatnot. But um, I'm just gonna go with what I know this time. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute, see if it needs more olive oil, and then I'm gonna start cooking it. All right, we're off to the races. Okay, there's a just a tiny delay. We won't talk about that. Maybe I started watching YouTube or something. But anyways, it finished cooking, I hope. We're about to find out. Hold on, fork here. And, oh man. All right, so we're gonna have to cook this a little bit longer. Um, so I'm gonna give it probably another, this time I think I'm gonna do uh, 15 minutes or 20, maybe I'll do 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Hey, I took the lid off. Um, this means I wasn't gone as long as I thought but there was an air and the air said add water. So now we know when you do pressure cook, you need some water. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and then get it going again and we'll be moving on. Tease. Oh yeah, that looks like it's probably done. It's what I've seen before is it fills up. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay. So this part's pretty easy. You just kind of scoop all the the spongy, stringy stuff into the middle. And make sure that it's soft all the way you know, down to the bottom and whatnot. So this one's looking pretty good. And what I'll do is um, kind of scoop it out into a bowl or something, and then cook the meat and the sauce. Okay, I got a phone call, so I got started. Um, set this to sear, saute, put on high. And it's very important you don't use metal in these, which I'm sure you can guess, but um, I'd throw it out there. And I'm basically just browning the meat. Added a little salt, I'm gonna add some pepper, maybe a little more salt. Then uh, once this is browned, I'll drain off the grease and pour in my red sauce. And as far as that goes, I mean, there's nothing particular about the one I picked. I just, I don't even know. Maybe my wife grabbed that red sauce, so. Just let this keep doing its thing until it's ready to, to drain. It's still sizzling, but it's actually off. Uh, I took it out with this towel and poured off the grease. 
So I'm just gonna add in my red sauce and I'll probably have to turn it back on, but if I do, it'll be too low. Okay, I thought this was so cool, I'd show you. There's a low, medium, 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 high, and high. Uh, so I thought that was just really awesome. I'm actually gonna go low, medium, and that should be enough to cook our uh, sauce. Okay, so I've got it all stirred together, and I'm using a non-metal uh, silicone spoon here. And um, I'm just gonna let this sit until it's warm and come back and check on it every once in a while until it's done. All right, the sauce is done. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of steaming a little. Just maybe not. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put it all together and finally have some dinner. All right, surely you can see the steam now. Um, I'm excited about eating this. I really love this stuff and I probably could eat like the entire spaghetti squash and I'm actually gonna cook the uh, the rest of it a little bit later um, but I'm really really excited about it and just so you know um, that took about if we think about the time we, we cut up the spaghetti squash scooped out the middle that's probably five minutes we put it into the pressure cooker uh, the actual cook time that worked was uh, 15 minutes on high um, except for the little faux pause so we would say like 20 minutes there it took about um, maybe just under 10 minutes to cook the meat. And then once the meat was cooked, I waited about uh, five minutes for the sauce to heat up and then put it on my plate. So what was that, like uh, 30 minutes total uh, prep time and everything. So that's pretty good. And, you know, typically when you cook the spaghetti squash in the oven or something, you're looking at more than 40 minutes. So uh, pretty excited about that. And one day I'll get used to looking at the actual camera instead of trying to look at my face. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. And if you really liked uh, what you saw and want to see more content, give me a, a like and a subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, there's a bonus edition of some shredded Parmesan.